to seek out some of the most demanding and inhospitable places on earth, where having the determination to live and the right survival skills can mean the difference between life and death. In this program, I'm going to show you just what's on the menu in the world's most remote jungles, deserts and mountains. Oh, look at these guys. Oh, these are palm weevil grubs. Wow, I'll tell you what, these, <laughs> these are the biggest grubs I've ever seen. Look. Oh, you can actually eat them whole. Look at it wriggling around. It'll be worth every one of its 140 calories. <laughs> Holy smoke. That is... Grug. <laughs> See that? A little sand beetle. And when there's as little food as there is in the Sahara Desert, this is about as good as you're going to get. Oh, this little chap here, he's not terribly big, is he? But. That's creamy. There's another one. That is a pleasant pop in the mouth. <laughs> That's creamy. I'm after some freshwater trout. Okay, there you go, see him? Just down there. Okay, what I'm gonna do is, here they are. Some saltwater fish are poisonous, but freshwater fish are all right. There's just a small risk of hepatitis A. Fish skin has good nutritional value, so just take the head off, gut it, and wash it out. And that is good to eat, just like this, straight out of the river. Fish has five times more protein than red meat, and the minerals are lifesavers because they help fight off infections and boost the immune system. Mm. I love it. And this is so tough, this skin. But look at under all of this. Eating raw meat can put you at risk from botulism or E. coli. Very nasty and potentially life-threatening infections. Mm. and opportunistic, following out where lions would eat. A half-eaten calf. They take that, and also that gash, straight through the puma claw down there. And then the puma will also eat all of the soft organs. Raoul won't let any part of this puma kill go to waste. He'll use the skin for saddles and bridles. Just asking if you can eat, eat this meat raw straight off the carcass. Slightly worryingly, he said yes. Gracias, Raúl. A blooming tough this one. Can't even get it down. Raúl, quieres comer algo? No, no, no. Oh, gracias. No, he doesn't want any. He's saying it's better when it's cooked. Yeah, thanks. It's traditional for Berber men to eat goat's testicles. They're thought to enhance fertility, and it's certainly going to be a test of my manhood. Merci, merci. No, I must say I've never, never eaten raw goat's testicles before. Oh, merci, Mohammed. There's plenty of potassium in a goat's testicle, 
and about 135 unadulterated calories. <coughs> I'm going to have one of my more unusual breakfasts. You get animals here, things like the rock dassy, which is like a, like a kind of big guinea pig. And all of this stuff here is dassy droppings. The Bushman actually used to take all this dassy poo and make tea. <laughs> Working on the principle that things that are good for you generally taste pretty bad. This has got to be very, very healthy. But at least I've got some fluids on board. One thing you can do if you're stuck out here with no water source at all is actually drink the fluid from a fresh elephant dung. Pretty disgusting, but it could save your life. Ooh. Not one of the better drinks I've ever had. Here in the Sahara, make sure you don't get bitten by this, the Horned Viper. They can be as long as three foot and their venom poisons your blood, causing hemorrhaging and heart failure. Okay, got it. And look, he's still, body's still wriggling around. But this is a nasty brute and a killer of a snake. But I'm going to eat him. I don't want to burn this because actually it's really beautiful meat. Merci Mohammed, je vais le manger. Bon appétit. Out in the desert, food is so scarce, you've got to keep your eyes open for anything that moves. Between us, the crew have managed to catch one of these little sandfishes. And these are like uh, little lizards, but what's amazing about this guy is that he uses his arms and his legs to actually like swim under the sand. And if I let him go, if I'm in deep sand, he will just shoo, shoot away straight into the sand and like burrow like a meter deep. But let's let him go here and to see what he does. This sand is hopefully not too deep. So he should probably head for the deeper sand, but they're fast. And look, you see him already burrowing his way in here. See that? Look at him, amazing. Got him again. That's how fast this little fella is. Just like disappears into the sand. But actually, he's also good food. Off with his head, then munch the body. And if you're fighting for your own life, these are the kind of hard decisions you've got to take. It's like a kind of just big mix of blood, guts, and scales. Why you don't? 